Hello again. Uh, today's project is going to be a bowl or a platter uh, made out of an oak burl. Uh, I have a slab of oak burl which is about 12 inches uh, wide and uh, it had a lovely figure. It has a lovely figure on it. It has a lot of inclusions uh, as you'd expect with a burl uh, so it'll be a difficult turn insofar as the finished product. You just have to see what the wood dictates. Um, I'm going to take it over to the bandsaw now and we'll cut out the bowl blank on the circle cutting jig of which there's a small tweak you have to make if you change the blade uh, and I'll go through that with you very briefly when we're over at the bandsaw. So without further ado we'll get cracking on the bowl blank and hopefully make an oak burl platter. I'll see you over at the bandsaw. There's your bowl blank. Something I noticed um, when I changed the saw blade because I put the base of the gullet in the centre of the wheel, um, the half inch blade I had on when I made this jig, obviously the point of the teeth was slightly further forward than the point of the teeth on this uh, 3 8 blade. So you have two options, you can either alter slightly the position of your blade on the wheel, but rather than do that um, I have the, 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 the spacer here, the, the stop block here underneath and all I had to do was move that a couple of mil further out so that the jig travel forward slightly and that's the only thing you have to do but be aware that if you do change your blade even if you put the same blade on it's very unlikely you're going to get it in exactly the same spot as when you first made your jig so always check uh, that the blade goes in line with the holes you drill for the centre of your blank just a quick tip and something I found while I was doing it so we'll go over to the lathe now and uh, there's going to be as you can see from this blank their inclusions and everything else so really you have to see how it starts to turn and what's going to have to go and the end result might be a little smaller than this but we'll see how it develops so I'll see you over at the lathe. I'm ready to mount the ball blank and I'm going to put my dovetail jaws I've got my dovetail jaws in the chuck and I'm going to be using um, a worm screw which I normally use for bowl work um, because this is quite thin, um, I'm just putting a little spacer there and then I will drill a 6mm hole to that depth. Um, I normally drill a bit deeper than that, but because of the, because of the depth, uh, the thickness of the bowl, I don't want the screw to go in that, that far. So then we mount this into the chuck the spacer and on a very low speed <coughs> Alan Tyler actually uses the same method so uh, it can't be too bad and then locate the hole and just start start it, turn the <coughs> Turn the lathe off and then lock your heads, lock your spindle and continue and screw him on. And that's very secure now. So the problem with this bowl is going to be um, that there are inclusions etc. Now depending the angle of the inclusion because this is going to be the bottom of the bowl um, we'll see how much we we might even leave the inclusions in I'd like to be able to but we'll have to see how it goes I have two options for reversing the bowl to hollow out the inside I can either put on a, a tenon uh, put a small tenon on there uh, to hold it into the um, dovetail jaws or I can do a recess 
Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do on this, we'll just see how it goes and I'll make the decision as we go along. Just marking the parameters for the dovetail or the tenon, so that's the size I need. I don't recommend using um, a scraper, however large, <coughs> on a piece that's got these inclusions. I mean, I did it, I have done it, um, I've done it before, and you have to have such light touches because if you dig in just a little bit too much, it's going to catch, and worse than breaking your piece, it could cause you a nasty injury. So, I don't recommend you doing that until you're really uh, comfortable with doing that sort of thing. Um, I practiced on much smaller pieces see what the reaction would be to certain cuts and uh, there's a big void there and you only have to go in ever so slightly and it's going if you go in too much because you are cutting basically a ghost line when you're there because you've got that void so I don't recommend using it um, until you're very comfortable with using that method so I think all remains to do now is to sand this up and I'm really pleased providing it stays together. Got some lovely figuring here. Um, what I'm going to do is to make sure all those are stable and I shall dig those, dig, dig what I need to out on there, the same here, any really soft wood and uh, hopefully it'll remain 
it'll keep some of its character. Right, before I finish off now, what I have to do is go through the whole bowl at the back and check the uh, inclusions and get all the loose bark out of there and to do that that light a little bit and to do that I'm using a, a bradle there and which has a little end on it a little lip on it so I can dig it all out and then you literally use a brush to get all the loose pieces out. Now I'm not obviously going to film all that because that's going to take me quite a while on this side and the reason I didn't do it before I started was I wasn't sure exactly how the bowl was going to react. Um, I still don't actually on this side it might actually reduce in diameter a bit but I'm hoping to keep keep it about this size now so I know what I've got to work with so I haven't spent quite a long time taking a lot of wood out, uh, a lot of loose wood out of the um, the burl that was going to be turned away anyway. So what I'm going to do is go through all of this um, and I'll come back when I've done that and sanded it ready for the finish. Okay so I've sanded down now to 400 and uh, taken a few more loose pieces of wood out of the inclusions and now I'm going to give it a good um, soak of my sanding sealer mix and quite a bit of this I'm going to have to put in with a paintbrush into the inclusions. Um, very, very hard wood. What, I, what I'm going to do is to um, put the wax on by hand and put very light coats on. Very light touches with it with a piece like this. Um, there are people out there with far more experience, I'm sure, than me on this sort of thing. I have done a few, and uh, I find that you have to be extremely careful when you're going on the parts where you have the deep inclusions. See, this part's okay, there's only a couple of small little. Uh, fissures here. It's the end. And like with all the pieces you put wax on, keep working it in. Okay, now we'll let that dry. It's coming up quite nicely. It does take a nice finish. And um, let that dry, I'll buff that off again, apply a second coat. All the coat being buffed. There you go. So that's come up quite nicely. So I'll turn the bowl around now and hollow out the inside.
I'm doing here is going round the whole bowl on the edge, checking for sharp edges and any loose um, bits in the inclusions, taking it off, smoothing it all off, <coughs> making it nice and uh, curved as opposed to sharp jagged edges on the edge and then um, I shall sand the inside of the bowl and coat it and I'll come back when I've done all the sanding and all the picking of bits out and we'll put in the final finish on because I don't want you to get too bored watching me do this I'll see you later okay so I'm back now for the last coat of wax As I say, I'll go around with a paintbrush afterwards and go into the inclusions, which is something I shan't bore you with. Um, and I'll put Danish oil in there, I think, and then that'll be the job finished. taken quite a nice finish so it does not too bad at all. As I say very hard wood this burl um, but uh, looks a bit different. Managed to keep the natural look on the one side here so I'll we'll probably put some uh, wooden fruit in there or something. Won't be using it to eat from especially soup because it might fall through the middle. Anyway, what I'll do, I'll put some photographs up at the end after I've put all the um, Danish oil on, etc. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers now.